a walk cycle in five easy frames. It was half past midnight. The night was grey and slight fog was in the air. It smelled a bit like cinnamon, maybe a bakery or a coffee shop. So what have I started by doing? Went and I drew my simple character. And I did this in Procreate, because Dreams does not have the option yet to do perfect shaping. So I went and I drew in my perfect shapes. And I started with this character by placing all of these components, some of the coat pieces, the neck right in front, his head is separate, his forearm is separate, his arms are separate. So in particular, I put his legs on separate layers so that when I went to manipulate this, I was able just to turn his leg out, come onto the layer with a leg. And when you're working with solid colors, it is super, super easy to animate a walk cycle because you have to do half the steps because it's really just an eye trick. Because you can't tell the difference really between the left and the right leg when you're walking, it's just a matter of animating five instead of eight or nine, right? So it's a solid, so I could make his leg look really wonky and weird and pull it out. And I'm gonna show you what I did. As that first animation that you saw at the very beginning of all of this, all I basically did was create this walk cycle. And again, I moved the leg and then I came out here and I drew over the top to make it look like he's got a knee, brought it down, that's two frames, right? And then the other leg is starting to pass, that's the passing frame coming up, and then it loops back to that leg being up. So you don't really see the difference between the left and the right leg, you're doing half the time. Most of the time, you'd have what is known as contact right, down, passing right, up left, contact left, passing left, etc. And I'll cover that in my next video about run cycles. So when his foot is up, his body is kind of higher up. But as he takes a step, you're gonna see his body shift a little bit down. And then his head is gonna kind of follow, follow suit, right? And then when he goes up, his head's still kind of in that down position and he's gonna bob his head up. That gives a sense of weight of the character. Not only does weight have to do with the way your character will bounce, but it also has to do with his stride and how fast he's walking. So if I animated on one, there's this guy, he does not look all like he's got that much weight. He's very quick and limber on his feet. Whereas if I added that first frame, so he's kind of taking this long step and then a little bit shorter on the way down and through, you hold holding those frames, it'll give this kind of casual stride, right? Now, if I took away that long step and I made it, exactly the same as the others he's moving a little bit faster he's not as heavy not as relaxed he's kind of in a rush so spacing has to do everything not only with weight but with the way that you want this animation to feel but all of those things are on different layers so i can just move them so if you want a quick walk cycle animate your character on a solid color it makes it so much easier than having to go through and do all this line artwork for say this run cycle which he this took me three weeks because a i had to get his stride and his gait right his weight his distribution as well as his movement and body and twist which i'll cover in my run cycle video thank you for watching my content be sure to like and subscribe and we'll look forward to seeing you next time